Hi guys, welcome back to Start Riot. I am here with Brianna from Tiger's Jaw. And um, welcome back to the UK. Thank you. Um, last time you here was last year with Foxin, mm -hmm. which In was um, yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, sound control, which was awesome. It was such a good show. Yeah, that was a fun um, tour. That was the first time I was in Foxin, and they're coming back, and I'm really excited. Oh really? Yeah, That's so awesome. So good. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, they're great. Um, is it good to be back on tour with Basement? Yeah, I. It's so crazy because the last time we were on tour together was like five or six years ago, yeah. and I. It's just you know, we're all like adults now. It's yeah. so weird. <laughs> but it's great. They're really nice, and yeah, yeah. We stayed friends like after the tour, obviously. Mm -hmm. So. Yeah, yeah, it's exciting. And um, Alex did uh, did your video for Home, is that right? Yeah. Yeah, it's a really cool video as well. Thank you. It was we, it was really cold. We did it in oh, one, really? we did it in one day, and it was very cold. I would I don't even know what it would be in Celsius, but it was cold. So it's been three years since your kind of s s semi split as a band, and you and Ben and the rest of the band kind of went separate ways. Yeah. And do you kind of feel like you've settled into Tiger's Jaw as a, as a two-piece now? Definitely. Uh, I think especially because Ben and I, we're just really on the same page with what we want and how much fun we have doing this band and like pursuing it mm -hmm. as a career, but because it's what we love to do and not because of any other reason other than that, you know? Yeah, yeah. Um, so it's great. And like the other three guys, like they're doing their own thing and they're mm -hmm. happy and we're happy for them. And yeah, so yeah. It's, it honestly, it's it feels really right. It feels good. That's cool. Yeah. That's good. Um, so you're kind of at different points in your life than you were then. And yeah, does it feel, we were still in school yeah. at that point, and now we're not. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> now we're done. Um, does it feel strange doing the band without them now, or because it's kind of, you've graduated from college and all that, does it kind of feel I like mean, this is the new I it'll always, I'll always like miss like when they were in the band because mm -hmm. I love them, like they're like my brothers, but I also am really enjoying the dynamic of playing with just Ben and I and then our other friends that get to play with us mm -hmm. like Luke, Pat and Teddy and anyone else who has played with us it's just really fun to like it's like fresh every tour you know and even with like Luke, Pat and Teddy who are playing with us now they've been pretty consistent with us for the past couple years and mm -hmm. that feels really good like they're great they're, they're the funniest people I know and they're just a real joy to be on tour with and that's a huge part of this this world is like traveling and being gone from home and that yeah, can be yeah. really hard sometimes which feels silly to say because like I, I'm so lucky to get to do this, but you know, it, you get homesick and whatever, but it's it's easier when you really enjoy being with the people that you're with. Yeah. Especially like the last tour we did was eight weeks long. And you know, you're in a van every day. Yeah, <laughs> you're yeah. with these people every day for eight weeks straight, no breaks. So it's good. we like them. And that's yeah. <laughs> it's important. You, you know you like someone when you can still stand them yeah. after eight weeks in a van. Yeah. It's true. Um, is it kind of weird? Um, obviously, last time you're here, you played the basement of Sound Control, which is, I don't know, like three, four hundred people maybe. And now you've played in the big Academy Sporting Basement, and it's like over a thousand. Is it kind of strange being back here and there's so many more people? Uh, it definitely is, but it's exciting. I mean, maybe some people have never heard us, and I get to, you know, I don't know. We're we're happy that Basement brought us out when we're playing more people. It's always exciting to do. Yeah. So. That's cool. Um, you guys are both on Run for Cover, yeah. which is uh, probably the best label around at the minute, I'd say. <laughs> They're pretty great. Yeah, yeah. And um, do you do you kind of notice that that it's such a special collection of bands, Run for Cover, like Citizen Turnover, um, like Self Defense Family. Uh, you know, so many great bands yeah. on there. Basement, obviously. Do you notice that when you're in the community, or do you just kind of think, yeah, this is cool? <laughs> I mean, it's definitely cool. I think it's really great what Jeff and everybody at Run For Cover, like what they do, because they only invest like their time and energy into a band if they believe in it and really love the music. Like they're never gonna put out a band just because they think that's like what they should do. Like, so I really respect that, and we're we're really lucky to be. I mean, I feel like our whole like scene or whatever we're a part of, um, everyone is you know seems to really appreciate what they have and the fact that people care about our music and so yeah it's good company yeah, yeah. good company and um, how was it all with yellow card new found glory it was great yeah. i mean i had no, we've never done a support tour like that where it's like i mean those bands are 
legends, yeah, you know? Yeah. Um, so we didn't really know what to anticipate, but both of those bands were so kind to us and really couldn't have made us feel like more welcome. We like we hung out, especially with Newfound Glory, like we hung out with them every day. Oh, yeah. <laughs> yeah, they That's were cool. all really nice and like those are bands that have been touring already for like ten plus years, so it's cool to see like what it could be like in the future yeah, and stuff yeah. like that. Oh, and the shows were really good. A lot of the people definitely had no idea who we were, and uh, <laughs> that's fine. But they do now. It, yeah, it's exciting to like get to play in front of like a new kind of audience and see how they respond. And yeah, yeah. I don't know. It was really fun. And it was really long, but we survived, and it was great. You survived to come here in the basement. Yeah. And do it all again. <laughs> yes. Not as long though. When no, we yeah. started this tour, we were like, it's not. It's only 30 days left of tour versus 60, you know, so it's a little different. But. You're smaller at least. Yeah. yeah. Less people. Yeah. And um, you just did a split with Kevin Devine, who I saw last week. With the front here, bottoms? In here, yeah, yeah. yeah. He's so good. Like. Yeah. He's like, I mean, first of all, he's like the best guy, like so kind, oh, yeah? but he's also like just an amazing musician. Like he, yeah. watching him play, you're just like, yeah. He's yeah, got yeah. it. He like knows what he's doing. And he's ginger. Yeah, that's true. That's true. It's a good club to be in. I wish. Yeah. I wish. <laughs> I'm a really big Kevin Devine fan. Like, I have been for years, like yeah. years and years. And we, it's so good. I, it was. I never. I. I still can't believe anything that we get to do because it's just so like surreal. Like, you know, I've obviously known who Kevin was and his music for so long, and to have him approach us to do a split, yeah. we were like. <laughs> so it was great. This is cool. Yeah. <laughs> That's yeah. great. And you did a Cure cover as well, yeah. which is awesome. Yeah, Kevin had a bunch of different ideas, like do we cover each other, do we do new songs, and at that point we weren't really ready to do new stuff, and I kind of like the idea of both covering, well, it was Kevin's idea that he mentioned to cover a band that we both love, and I love The Cure, and I've always wanted to do like a Cure cover or something. And Kevin also loves it here, so it just it just worked. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's cool. It's really good as well. Thank you. Check Thank it out. You. In between days, and uh, Kevin does love song. They have so. <laughs> m oh my! I wish the camera could see. Batman is here. <laughs> Batman. That's crazy. Yeah. See if you can get. And we're back. Oh my gosh. <laughs> awesome. He's come to rescue the show in case oh, yeah. it goes bad. Um, so it's been two years since Charmer came out, which is a fantastic album. Oh, like, thank you. I've got the LP. It's really cool how the artwork, like, I think I read an interview where it said um, you designed and stitched the actual cover. Yeah, I I do all of the work, the artwork for our, our like LPs. Mm -hmm. I've always done it, and I think every time I just try to do something that I've not necessarily never done, but never like really focused on and yeah. I had never done embroidery before and I was like let's just try it yeah, yeah. and I'll tell you if <laughs> when I started it was really bad <laughs> and um, my boyfriend actually he he does a lot of design stuff too and he was like you need like like what do you want it to look like like do you want it to look like traditional or do you want it to look like more freehand because I was just doing it without like any kind of like pattern or anything and then I made an actual like template for myself oh, yeah. and then I went in and like did it with that and then it came and it was it's just crazy how that stuff works it was a yeah. lot of, it took so long I love how on the actual record cover like it's kind of embossed like it's embroidered yeah something. I mean I have the actual it's like a 12 inch by 12 inch piece of oh, canvas yeah. that's embroidered that nice. is that yes. and even like the track listing and the run for cover logo all of it it's been two years since Charmer, great album, and uh, I think me and kind of everyone else who likes Tiger's Show is kind of wondering what's oh, going to happen next. next oh, what's next? Oh, okay, yeah. So, we're hoping, everything takes so long, it's like really frustrating, like mm -hmm. how long the process is of getting your record pressed, so we're hoping either late next year or early next year to have a record out, we're working on stuff, we have recording in the works, you oh. know, like... I don't know how much I'm like allowed to give away. Just tell me everything. <laughs> no, then, I can't. Uh... <laughs> we're working on it, and we're really excited because this is the first record that Ben and I are doing, just the two of us. Okay. We we did do um, like obviously we did in between days with just the two yeah. of us, and we did a song called "Carry You Over" that was on Williams' uh, compilation. Yeah, the studio four. Yeah, yeah, and uh, so 
I'm just excited to do that because those two songs were so fun and like I said Ben and I are just so on the same page and you know it's, yeah. it's gonna be fun it's something new yeah are you recording with Will Yip again are you allowed to say him? maybe <laughs> definitely cool. love Will I can't I can't imagine doing it with anyone else yeah, yeah. is it kind of nerve-wracking writing an album because you kind of wrote Charmer together and then kind of recorded it kind of together it's it was yeah, the it's, old band yeah it's the process the writing process has always been super individual like I never have been like a primary songwriter in Tiger's Jaw like obviously I do my keyboard parts and stuff but the the songs like their structures and everything has always been like mostly Ben and Adam and obviously on the last record Pat wrote a song um, but like you have your song and then you go to recording and we only re we recorded Charmer in like five days yeah. super short um, so this time we're, we're like focusing more on like working together like Ben's like I've been working on writing songs which is like something that I not that I never like got to do I just because Adam and Ben were such song strong such strong songwriters I never really thought about doing that because obviously like that's like Tiger's Jaw um, but you know with it being just Ben and I I'm ex like Ben has been completely like let's do it and yeah, yeah. so it's really fun for me like playing guitar and like learning, you know, like just putting songs together and who knows what'll end up on the record. But even just like being like that much more part of the process and it being more collaborative in that way has been really fun. Like just cause it's so different. Not that it was bad before, it wasn't. That's what obviously worked for us. But now that it's just Ben and I, it's like, it's new territory, but it's yeah, exciting. Yeah. That's cool. I'm and sure with Will too, awesome. Will involved, like he also is uh, a major part in like making the songs like how they end up being. So, yeah, yeah. yeah. That's cool. I'm positive it'll be awesome because, as far as I'm concerned, in Tiger's Joe, I've never done a bad song. So, wow, that's a cool. <laughs> Thanks. You've got, you know, some that are better than others. But <laughs> no, no <laughs> bad songs, Tiger's Joe. That's okay. It, it could be, it's true. It could be true. All right, what's next? Cool. Well, thanks so much. That's Brianna it. Brianna from Tiger's Joe. That was so quick. Well, that's okay. Try and I actually be have, efficient. To, I have to go play. Yeah, now. you have to go anyway. play like in ten minutes. So uh, I'm. You'll see me in the pit because I'll yeah. be like, yeah, yeah, that guy. Cool. Brianna from Tiger Jaw. Thanks so much for watching. If you like the video, hit the thumbs up, subscribe. Where, where's the thumbs up and it. subscribe? It'll be down here. Yeah, down here. Cool. Bye. That was cool. Thanks so much. Oh, you're welcome. Thank you. Yeah, that was yeah. really fun. That's oh, really great. Awesome.